G'day folks, Fred in the Shed here, and uh, today I'm doing a little show and tell and a, a little bit about banjo theory. So um, I've got my trusty workhorse banjo, which is uh, a Gretsch uh, special, uh, which I've set up with a, a Bolsch head and a slightly higher bridge to bring out some of its tonal qualities. And um, the, an the question I'm going to answer today is a question I've often been asked over the course of my playing of the banjo is, why do people stick things behind their banjo? So in the back of the banjo, of course, is the, there's a, a vacant space, and I've got uh, I've got a little pickup in here, which is quite a good one. Um, it's not as good a sound as the microphone, but it's not too bad. And so this this pot hasn't got anything in the back of it at the moment. So this is the native sound of the banjo, which I've just played you, right? So what you can do is because of the design of a banjo, there's a lot of harmonics. Uh, in, the, in the produced by the, the circular head and the, the, the asymmetrical positioning of the bridge, and those harmonics can be unpleasant, particularly if there's a lot of metal in the banjo. If the, these metal coordinator rods are particularly nasty, when they give you a nasty high frequency ringing, um, which doesn't add to the quality of the sound, although it might add to the unpleasantness of the banjo sound. So, one solution is to put acoustic dampening in the back of your banjo. Now, that's a fancy way of saying stick a sock in it. It doesn't always have to be a sock. The best dampening I think I've found in the past is uh, little bits of foam. And you just get those little bits of foam and you twist them up. You don't need much. And then you insert that under your coordinator rod somewhere near the bridge. Anywhere from the bridge to there works quite well. So I'll, I'm gonna put this one really close to the bridge. Now let's hear what that sounds like. change let's try it somewhere else I'll push it up here now that's got rid of some of the bottom harmonics so now the band is sounding a bit nasally the more common position is right down the end here and I'll put that there and it's starting to get a bit of uh, quality out of there we haven't lost too much volume but we've lost some of the unpleasant high ringing notes that come from the, the various bits of the banjo that are ringing. Now, if you don't have a piece of foam, there's all sorts of things you can use. For instance, <coughs> the other day I was somewhere and um, I didn't have a piece of foam, so I managed to get these two rubber gloves. Goodness knows where they've been, but they did the job. And the way I did it was I stuck them in there, just twist them up a little bit, tighten them up so they don't wiggle, so there's not too many loose bits of them, because you don't want the loose bits sitting on the skin, because the loose bits will then vibrate and buzz and give you unpleasant sound. So you can do something like that, and you stick that in, and there you go. That's sometimes not enough. Some people prefer more than that. So then you can stick two things together and put a lot of stuff in there. And what do you get? You get... Starting to hear a difference now. But some people don't like the sound of rubber or the sound of foam, and they'll go to something like getting a towel, a piece of towel. So then you get a piece of towel, and you just rip a bit off. Oh, I'm not going to rip that now. I'll just cut a bit off. Ah! Cut a bit off. See if I can do this quickly. I should have said, here's one I prepared earlier. So this towel's a bit grotty because I've been using it to clean the dog's feet before it comes into the house, but it'll do the job for now, just as a demonstration. So this, this towel is not the sort of towel I'd normally put in, because it smells a bit of dog. And uh, banjo players have enough problems to put up with, let alone smelling like a dog. So here we go, this, this is a fairly robust size now. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> If you don't like towel, the old flanny shirt works really well. So here's a piece of flannel, and uh, just get me a little, rip a little bit of this off. Um, that's a bit of flannel there. Get a bit that you think might be the right size. What's happening to my scissors? There they are.
good, good, good viewing, good YouTube viewing, watching me rip bits of flannel. And this one is loosely stuffed, and you just stuff it in. Now we're starting to get to a, little, a larger stuffing, which means we'll lose a bit of volume, but it will change the sound markedly. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> See, that's changed the sound of the banjo markedly if I take that out. Now, some people prefer the sound uh, with, the with the acoustic dampening, and some people prefer the purity of a banjo that isn't damp. Now, if you don't have any of those things, a bit of duct tape will do the job, and I'll show you how that works. I'll do it on the outside because it'll work on the outside of the inside. So, with the duct tape, you can actually, and I've seen an entire skin duct taped. But you can actually just get a bit of duct tape. If you don't care too much about your skin, I'm not going to stick this one on real firm because I don't. I do care about my skin. Just whack a bit of duct tape on. It does the same job. It changes the acoustic impedance of the skin to the vibrations generated by the strings travelling through the bridge onto the skin, and that skin vibrating uh, with a different weight to it will change the sound. Um, and I've got one more to show you. And this is probably the most impressive one of the lot. And I've seen this done before too in the past. So I'll just I'll just do it and then show you. And I've seen this done at a festival I was quite surprised once. It was a towel. But I've got something a little different here. Let's see what this is. So see that? That sounds lovely, doesn't it? stuff that you get, um, you know, the stuff that's, uh, uh, I don't know, it's made of plastic, I think, but people use it for uh, jackets and, and shirts and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, oh, jeepers, pajamas, and I think maybe I used a bit too much of it, what do you reckon? Anyway, that's all you need to know about acoustic impedance and banjos.